I am a man of my word. On our TV show, I said I'd show you on our website, here you go, how to set the hinges for the door. And the easiest way to do it is with blue painter's tape. And you just put that onto the door frame and get your mortise pattern for your hinges. And then the key thing, the thickness of that hinge, you do not want to create a mortise deeper than the thickness of that. And to that end, I set up a marking gauge and scribe a line. If you make it deeper than this line that I'm putting on that edge, then the door is going to jam. Okay, so now, next stop is, right here I'm using chisels to do stop cuts. And I only need it in 3 30 seconds of an inch. And you could use a different profile, smaller chisel, but I have the perfect sweep right there. Now what I'll do along the back is use a straight chisel just to tap in a stop cut so that I do not split out the wood fibers as I hand mortise this wood out. Now I could make a template and use a router with a guide bushing, but the truth is not everybody has one of those, but you all have chisels like this. Now, I'll waste this away to the stop cuts. And the stop cuts are key. It will stop the wood from splitting out. And here you can see I'm putting the bevel down. And I'm using that bevel like a plane. I want that bevel to ride on the surface of the wood. And you can see this is a pretty easy job to cut out this mortise material. Now I'll get this set and then we'll get the hinge laid in there perfectly. And this is exactly the easiest way to cut the mortise for the hinge. If you're replacing an existing door like I am right now, it's easy by using the blue painter's tape as your pattern. So now, just a little hand pairing now, gently, and be sure to watch the web extra on how to sharpen chisels, because if it takes you more than a minute to keep your chisel sharp like this, well, you'll want to see that. So check that out on our website too. So I'll get this done, and the hinge set in, and once all the mortises are cut for the hinges, I'll show you how to set the lock set with a very special jig. Here we go. Ready for the test fit now. And don't get in a hurry. Just use sharp chisels the right way and watch how you position your fingers so that you do not get them in harm's way. You never bring a cutting edge towards your fingers. I think we've got it by Jove. And it's very easy to do. It takes about three minutes per mortise. And I think that's it right there. Let's see. Let's see how that pops in there. I've got too tight of a fit. I got to take that edge out right there. My stop cut was not cut to the tape all the way. Like so. Okay, let's see. I think that will do it. Okay, like so. And indeed, that's perfect. Now, on to the lock set. To set the handle set, you have to determine whether it's an interior door, like this one, or an exterior door, like the one we copied to make this door. And I'd use a set like that right there if it's exterior, but I like this brushed nickel look for interior doors. So I have it positioned 36 inches up from the bottom edge to the center of this hole. That's key. That matches the mortise that's in the jam. And this is locked in place. And now I'm using a hole saw that comes with this kit and a pilot bit to drill the hole for the mechanism of the door handle. And that gives me the offset of 2 and 3 eighths. 
that I need right here. So now I just make sure this stays in position, that it's locked securely, and I go until I've got about a quarter of an inch left of the whole saw. And I want to evacuate the chip. I do not want to break all the way through the other side because that could tear the wood. These are really handy jigs. Now, I just need to go just a hair further. And if you look on the other side, what you'll see is that quarter inch bit getting ready to come through. Where is it? There it is. Now, whatever I do, don't want to bust that out. I'll take that quarter inch bit, put it right on that hole, line things up, and finish the hole from this side. Okay, perfect. Now what that did, that's a perfect tear-free hole on both sides. Now what I can do is swap this out with the small coring bit, and to do that I just take that piece out, thread it in, make that cut. I'll get that set up. Now for the bolt that is going to go through this mortise right here, I've swapped this out to a one inch hole saw, and this black ring can be positioned for offsetting this, so if the door thickness varies from the jam thickness, you can adjust it to go one way or the other, which I have done. So this hole is not going to be perfectly on center, it's going to be cheated forward. So it matches the jam. So I'll clean this out and drill this all the way through, keeping it perpendicular as I go. Taking my time. Hole saws are great but they do load up with sawdust, and it smokes. That's normal. And this did come with a complete set of instructions for anybody, so that if you want to make your custom doors, take the five minutes to read the instructions and you'll be ahead of the game. Okay, now I'm all the way through. So let's take a look at this. And remember, I told you from the start, it was not going to be perfectly centered. I didn't want it perfectly centered. That's cheated forward. That's perfect. That will match my door jam. So now what I need to do is pull this apart, and that must be mortised in. I'll get set up at the bench to do that. To make this work, now what I have to do is complete the mortise to accept this mechanism and then screw this plate into place with the bevel facing the front of the door so it can latch properly. And to that end, what I'll do, because I have my stop cuts made that you saw me make earlier already, I will waste this material away to those stop cuts. And then I can chisel out the center part that will allow the fat part of this cast mechanism to fit down and get this entirely flush. So once that's done, then that gets screwed in place and the entire door mechanism is screwed with two screws and it's ready for action. And for the reveal here, you can see very elegant and smooth action. You just can't beat having the right tools, and that jig right there is worth its weight in gold when you're drilling the holes for the lock sets. And then remember, when you're replacing a door, all you need is blue painter's tape. Take it to the hinge pattern that's already on the door, start from the top, and cut out the mortises by hand 
Do not make them deeper than the thickness of the hinge, and you're in business. So, time to make custom doors in your home. You'll be glad you did.